What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix series Ragnarok Season 2! Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this new season. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Yes! Yes! This show is awesome! Part of the reason why the previous first season rocked my socks off was because it was kinda like Smallville meets M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable. You know, what if Superman doesn't know yet that he's Superman. Well, in this case, it's Thor. The coming-of-age reincarnation of Thor. This ain't your Marvel Chris Hemsworth Thor, and it's the puberty stage of superhero proportions. And it was brilliantly done, especially the fact that it's set in present day. So the writers can also throw in things like climate change, industrial pollution, corporate greed, you know, stuff that would get millennials and Gen Zs riled up. So while season one was about Magni slowly but surely discovering that he's actually extraordinary, and now that he knows, so now season two is less about what are my abilities, and more about what can I do with these abilities. The story moves forward at a significantly faster rate this time around, and it's also more action-packed, because the Giants and Magni have practically drawn a line in the sand. Things escalate in Season 2, and there's plenty of more surprises in terms of which other Nordic mythological characters that the writers decide to bring in. It's darker and more consequential, but still as cool and thrilling as ever. Season 2 is electrifying, literally and figuratively. Created and written by Adam Price and Emil Lebekai, Ragnarok is a Norwegian series that gives a new and surprising angle on Norse mythology. The second season picks up where the first season left off. What do you do when you're a 17-year-old high schooler who has just learned that you're up against an ancient and extremely powerful enemy that is holding an entire town, perhaps even an entire country, in an iron grip? Magni has to accept that he's now ready for battle, but his enemies are many and strong. Is there anyone else who, like him, has supernatural powers? And will he be able to find these people in time? And what happens when it turns out that his little brother Loritz is also exceptional, but he views the world differently from Magni? In Season 2, the conflict gets tougher, evil gets more focused, and the choices even more desperate in the midst of all this, Magni is faced with the fundamental question, how far are you willing to go in order to save your family? Without giving away too many details, Magni's mission in Season 2 is basically to forge a weapon and to form a team. And we all know that there's a naivete to Magni, that gullible quality to him. So the process of him searching for others like him is undoubtedly and irresistibly amusing. I am not allowed to tell you who's who are revealed to be joining Magni in his quest to battle the giants, but I will say this, some of them are not very subtle. May I also just say that I'm digging actor David Saxon's hairstyle for this season too. It really brings out his jawline and his beefy presence. Last season, we saw a rift between Fjord and his family of giants because Fjord really, really loves Gree. Well, in season two, this teen romance, for the most part, grows steady. It's obvious that being a good guy is really, really hard on Fjord. I also appreciate the fact that this season two puts more emphasis on Loritz. He's always been one of my favorite characters on this show, and I felt that season one did not give him his dues. And I think actor Jonas Strand Gravel is fantastic in this role, and I'm glad he finally gets to shine in this new season, and finally realize the potential 
that destiny has for the cunning, flamboyant, and mischievous Loritz. Season 2 is Loritz coming into his own. There are so many other things that I wish I could tell you, but I have to keep this review spoiler free. One thing for sure is that now the cards are on the table. No more pretending and now they know who their opponents are. So them navigating their ways to ultimately getting to that battle is the appeal of season two. And it's a road full of unexpected detours that make this hero's journey easier said than done.